Welcome back to a new review video. I'm John, I'm a Flavor Compounder, and in this week's video, we are looking at Capella's Strawberries and Cream Flavor. Even though, because of its name, you might be expected that this is a popular flavor, it's actually kind of the opposite, and you will very rarely see this flavor in a regular recipe or discussed online. There are a few forum posts talking about how badly it blends with other flavors, but usually there is not a clear answer if this flavor is a good one or not. Now, I have this flavor for many years now, and only recently I thought of doing a review. Now, having tried it recently for this video at 3% and 6% with 5 days steeping, I have to say that it doesn't taste exactly like strawberries and cream, but it's on a good path. The mix I made had 20% propylene glycol in it, so the 3% sample tasted fine, but if you're going to make this just with vegetable glycerin, then you will need at least 6% of flavor to make it come through enough. Now the taste, I can describe it as a very light and thin cream with a stronger strawberry aftertaste. It has a slight alcohol aftertaste too, which goes away with steeping. Now this flavor is not too bad since I could see it work okay just solo with a little bit of sweetener, but if you're looking for a richer strawberries and cream flavor, then you would probably have to mix something from scratch. Personally, I don't regret buying it since I only bought 30 milliliters and I already used close to half of it for this video but I will probably not use it again for a while. Next, I also have prepared a recipe with this flavor, but let me quickly show you the ratios of use before moving to the recipe last. If you want to try this flavor alone, then for a mild e-liquid, use it from two up to 4%, and for a stronger solo e-liquid, use it from six up to maybe nine or 10%. Now for DIY recipes, I have concluded at the following ratios. To use it as a base for your mix, use it from 4 up to 7%. This is a good range with enough taste and still room for other flavors. To use it as an accent to other recipes, then usually 1 or 2% seems to be enough when I use it as a flavor booster. Next, let's go to my illegal recipe. Now I think this is a flavor that is very hard to work around and create a recipe with. It will overpower almost every other weaker flavor and leave a weird alcoholic aftertaste to most e-liquids unless steeped for a week or more. So I found a way to work around that by boosting instead the strawberry and cream flavor itself rather than introducing new flavors to blend it with. So here is the recipe in its final form. The strawberries and cream I used at a medium of 4% together with 3% of the silver line meringue and a touch of TFA dragon fruit to help the strawberry taste. The meringue from Capella is slightly different to the meringue from Flavorat. The silver line meringue, it is a more milky or kind of creamy flavor with a very minimal taste which here works very well since the cream inside the strawberries and cream is kind of weak and missing that milky mouthfeel, which gets boosted when introduced in the meringue. Dragon fruit is here, as I mentioned, as a booster, which could be also achieved using another strawberry, but with the dragon fruit, we also get the old and good emulsifying properties. It has two, so why not use it if you have it? All in all, this is a good tasting recipe and a little different than the usual strawberry cheesecake or other similar strawberry and cream recipes. For steeping, you will want to go at least one week to 10 days for all the flavors to blend better. Now, if you have this flavor too, leave your thoughts about it in the comments since it's very rare to talk with someone else that also tried Capella strawberries and cream. In any case, I hope you found the information useful. Thank you for watching all the way to the end, and I will see you again soon with something new and interesting.